Welcome to Review Central. My name is Susan. In this science lesson we'll take up an important topic in biology, specifically the process of photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? You have probably encountered the word before, but do you know what it means? By definition, photosynthesis is the process plants and other organisms use to convert carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight into food. Photosynthesis may seem like a big word, but it's easier to understand if you remember that it's two Greek words put together. The word photo means light and the word synthesis means putting together or to combine things. So photosynthesis is the combining of carbon dioxide and water with light. What organisms use photosynthesis? We usually associate photosynthesis with plants but, in fact, it is not exclusive to plants. Most plants, most algae, and some bacteria perform photosynthesis. Such organisms are called phototrophs. Okay, that is quite a mouthful, so let's break it down and say it again more slowly. That's photo, auto, troughs. Basically, phototrophs are organisms that carry out photosynthesis. Using energy from sunlight, carbon dioxide and water are converted into organic materials to be used in cellular functions such as biosynthesis and respiration. But how does photosynthesis work, and where does it take place? In plants, photosynthesis takes place mainly in the leaves. But the entire process actually starts at the roots. First, water is pulled into the plant through the roots. This water passes up the plant stem and into the leaves. Next, plants have to capture carbon dioxide from the air. Carbon dioxide is absorbed into the plant leaves through small openings called stomata. Photosynthesis is now ready to take place, but it needs energy. The energy to fuel photosynthesis comes from sunlight. The green pigment in the leaves of plants, known as chlorophyll, is necessary in order for plants to convert carbon dioxide and water, using sunlight, into oxygen and carbohydrate molecules, most commonly glucose. The primary output of photosynthesis is carbohydrates, most commonly glucose, or sugar, which serves as food for the plant. Oxygen is another important byproduct of photosynthesis. Oxygen gets released to the atmosphere for other organisms to consume, including humans. The whole process of photosynthesis can actually be expressed in an equation. The equation basically shows the inputs, carbon dioxide and water, and the resulting outputs, sugar and oxygen, after the application of light. Let's review some of the new terms we've learned today in relation to photosynthesis. First, of course, is photosynthesis itself. We've learned that photosynthesis is the process plants and other organisms use to convert carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight into food. It came from the Greek words photo, which means light, and the word synthesis, which means putting together or to combine things. And then there's the big word, phototrophs, which basically are organisms that carry out photosynthesis. Known phototrophs include most plants, most algae, and some bacteria. There's also stomata. Stomata is a pore, found in the epidermis of leaves, stems, and other organs, that facilitates gas exchange. Of course, let's not forget about chlorophyll, the green pigment found in the leaves of plants. Chlorophyll is essential in photosynthesis, allowing plants to absorb energy from light. And we've wrapped up another science lesson here in Review Central. Thank you and see you in our next science lessons. Have a good day.